Hi everyone, welcome back to week two of Cricket Club. We're going to carry on focusing on our bowling with our seam up, with our pace bowling, and we're going to look at our line and accuracy when we are bowling towards the wickets or your batsman that's in front of you. But first, let's get back to our warm up and start the session off properly so we can get our bodies ready to do our exercise and ready to do sport. Okay, number one is going to be a simple jog to the wickets and back. Okay, simple jog there and back. Do this five times, that's two. Last one. Okay, I'm rested, that's five. Okay, get our heart rate going. Keep on moving. Next one is going to be side steps. So you're moving sideways, across, all the way up to the wickets, back round, and back to the start. Okay, so you're moving sideways, side steps, as you go. Okay, let's go, we're gonna do three. Okay, that's one. Okay, well done, get the heart rate going. I'm out of breath. Your body should feel out of breath as well. Okay. So we're going to move on to our next one, which is going to be bum flicks, just for one there and back. Ready? Go. Okay, right, get yourself a drink. Okay, get yourself a drink and rest for a little minute. We do our dynamic stretching, okay? So dynamic stretching is when we are moving and stretching at the same time. So what you need to do is put your feet shoulder width apart. And it's gonna to turn to the side so you can see. We're gonna go down into a lunge. So we're lunging, straight, knee to the floor, and back up, that's one. Straight. Knee down to the floor and back up. Okay, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, shake your legs off. Shake your legs off. Okay, this time you're gonna swing and kick out. So just like you're playing football, swing back and forward and touch your hand. Just feel it at the back of your leg and your hamstrings. So stretch the hamstrings out. Up, oh, we're gonna do five each leg. Two, three, four, five. And change legs. 
One, two, three, four, and five. Next one, you're gonna lift your knee up towards your chest and turn your hips. Keep this leg still and open. Okay, so up and open. Try and keep your foot on the floor, you shouldn't it? We do 10 of these. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well done everyone, keep going. Okay, keep up with the warm up. We need to get our bodies prepared for our cricket. Okay, last leg stretch, we're gonna look at the quadricep. Okay, so you've done this in PA, quadricep to the front. You're gonna bring your leg up and balance absolutely still like a statue. If you are struggling, stir at something on the floor and count to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, top of the body. Here we get our arms rotating, just like our cricket ball. We need to get our shoulders and arms ready for that movement. So we're gonna do 10 forward. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, we're gonna go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. And this time we're going to go across so you make an X and back out. Okay, really stretch out your chest. Across. And rest. We're going to do that tricep stretch. You're going to put one arm up and onto your shoulder blade at the back. Then you're going to take this arm and push your elbow down your back. Okay? So it stretches down this side of your arm, the tricep. Okay, and change. And last one, we're gonna do our deltoid stretch. You're gonna make an X across your body. So you're gonna take one arm across your chest. This other arm gonna come underneath and make a cross. Hold this for 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and change, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, final part, 10, the final part of our warm-up is going to be our high intensity, all we're going to do this is 5 sets of sprinting on the spot for 10 seconds, so are you ready, just sprint on the spot for 10 seconds, 5 times, ready, 3, Two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and rest. I'm gonna go again. That's number one. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two. You've got three more today. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. A little bit of rest. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last one before we start our bowling. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get yourself a drink before we start bowling. Okay, so we're going to move forward and have a recap of our technique for our bowling. Now remember, you need to have your bunny ears when we are bowling, so you've got two fingers on top and the thumb at the bottom when we are holding our ball. Okay, remember your seam from last week that we drew on or if you have a cricket ball you can use that as well so the seam we have got our bunny ears across either seam either side 
and our thumb underneath. Okay, so remember our fingers are always pointing up to the sky. Okay, we always need to be in this position when we are bowling. Now, when we are bowling, your bowling arm cannot bend, okay? It's illegal to bend your arm when you are bowling. So, if we do this and bowl, that is classed as a throw. And this is a no ball. And then that means the batting team get an extra run, okay? So, you need to make sure that your arm is straight the whole time when you bowl the ball, okay? So it can never bend. If you bend your arm, that is a throw, okay? So we do not want to be throwing the ball when we are bowling. So we, you cannot throw and bend your arm. In cricket, when we are bowling, you have to have a straight arm the whole time your arm is moving around, okay? So what we're gonna practice is having a straight arm here. We're just gonna go round and round with that straight arm to practice keeping it straight when we are bowling. Now, on this, I want you to flick your ear with your arm as well. So get it nice and close to your head. Don't want it out here. Get it nice and high for increased pace and accuracy. So everything is linear. Nice and straight towards your target. Okay, so keep that arm straight. Okay, keep practicing that over and over. There's never a bend, never bend your arm. Okay, nice and straight, all the way over. Okay, let's start to piece it together. So back into your bowling position, you have got your bunny ears underneath your chin, your toe is pointing towards your target. We have got our bunny ears underneath the chin. Arm up, you can bend this arm in front. We're gonna come down, round, keeping our arm straight, leg move forward and down in front towards your target and again so we practiced this last week in position point your toe towards your target bend your arm in front head to the side bunny ears on our ball underneath your chin round down straight arm and over what i want you to do is to practice that six times against the wall or a net technique now okay just like we did last week we have got our setup back there we're gonna bowl from you can put a number of tennis balls in there or if you've only got one to collect it and use one so we're gonna use our technique from the back we're gonna walk up ball with a straight arm okay and go back okay we're gonna do this for two overs now an over remember is one okay lot of six so it's bullet six times that's one over, so we're gonna do it 12 times. This time, this week, I want you to put a target of anything that you want on top of off stump. So I'm gonna put a cone, I'm gonna put it on the top of off stump. So if you're looking at the wicket, it's the left wicket. Okay, you're gonna put it on the top of this one. Okay, that's gonna be your target for the top of off stump. Okay, so you've got off, middle, and leg stump. There's three different types of stumps. So this one's going to go on the left hand side. That's going to be our target to bowl from. Once you have set up, you can go back to your bowling mark and practice your 12 balls. Okay? okay, remember our target, the top of off stump. Okay, that's six. I mind, we do another six and collect my balls and get another six. Don't forget, the ball needs to bounce before it hits the top of the stump.
Now we're gonna use some targets to help us, okay, hit this cut, okay? So you're gonna put some targets, it can be anything, it could be a piece of paper, anything that's gonna help you make contact with the top of off stump on your target, okay? So I've got three, I'm gonna put them in a line from where I pull, of where I want to aim for my ball to hit the top of the cup, okay? So that's gonna be my target, where I'm at to pull and hit, okay? So you're gonna try it again for 12. Watch my videos first so you know what to do. So 12 balls are trying to hit the stump with your targets there as well. Okay, I hope you managed to get as many as you can. Okay, that's my first six. I'm gonna click the balls and go again. We are going to go to the full length, okay? For a full length wicket for cricket, it's 22 yards. But for our marker, you're going to take two big steps away from your wicket. So one, two. Then you're going to put the markers back there in line with your top of off stump. And you are going to take your bag of balls or your marker back 22 yards. Ready? Once you have set up your area, you've got your cone, you've got your area to aim for with your mat, and you have got your wickets at the top, which is your marker to ball from. You are ready for our final challenge, okay? You need to ball at your targets and try and hit off stump. You again, I've got two overs, so that's 12 balls towards the wicket to see how many you can get, okay? I will show you mine. Don't forget to post your score into our team's page, okay? So we can have a competition of how many wickets you can hit out of 12, okay? So it's not how many wickets you hit here, okay? If you hit the wicket, that's one. If you hit it again, that's two. So out of 12, what would be your score? Okay, let's go. One over for me, that's six balls. Okay, I'm gonna collect all the balls and go again.
well done everyone today okay collect up your score add it to the group don't forget to join us next week for our cricket club